Hi, I'm Simon from Offcut Barbers London, and I'm cutting Martin's hair. Going to give him a nice skin fade, little line up on his beard, and sort his throw out. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, I'm starting my uh, wall seniors with a uh, number two uh, so I can just uh, clean and take a bulk off uh, so it's all ready for me to start the fade. It's probably not going to take too much off but I'm just making sure it's all ready so I've got a clean canvas. How long ago did I cut your hair? It's actually, I think it's nearly four weeks so it is a bit longer than it normally is. Do you want any lions or a night tick or Adidas stripes? Uh, maybe let's do an <laughs> Adidas stripe. <laughs> Actually, I would kind of like the, the three lions thing, I think, but I don't know. I've got a party tonight, so I'm thinking, keep it nice. Right, I'm going to start by doing the fade. So I'm going to put a zero line in at the bottom as my baseline. Uh, and I'm gonna do a technique called guard skipping. So we go zero, and then we have 0.5, and we have one and a half, and then we're just missing the guards in between. Because I don't have a boarding clipper at the moment, I'm just gonna board it out with my seniors and then go shorter with the mini clippers. It's interesting to hear the technique as you like, because I don't know any. It feels stuff. really weird. Like, <laughs> I don't know any. <laughs> I know John's going to take the mick out of me. Yeah. Oh, Shabbos, do the proper door. <laughs> Minspire. That sounds like you. <laughs> I don't sound like that, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Only when you're humming. I don't mean to sound crude, but yesterday that gave me the worst wind ever. <laughs> what did you have? <laughs> Yeah, it was like spicy beans, but they're like posh beans, you know, like Heinz beans yeah, with, I know what you mean. with, uh, with mushrooms on toast. Uh, and I had a little cheeky can of uh, four pure nice. <laughs> beer as well. Nice, <laughs> I always put some Encona hot sauce in my beans, like that's the one. And when I did some old guy's hair, I was like really trying to not fart. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> it's not quite the time. <laughs> I had to clench my bum cheeks together. <laughs> Sorry. That face? I'm just balling out more with uh, my D8s. Because obviously you can't really go into the hair with the foils too long. Or it will just be really uncomfortable for your client. At Johnny's, Lyndon used to do it to me all the time. Like, because my chair was right next to the stairs going downstairs, and he'd run past, let one rip, and then carry on walking away. And then my client would think it was me that done it, and I'd be like, oh, no, it wasn't me, that's right. Is he back now? Huh? Is he back? It was bad. Cool, so I've done my zero, zero, and now I'm going with my foils. Uh, the one a mistake that most barbers do is they go up and down. The easiest way to eradicate lines is to do circular motion. And if you look, there's like no lines. Just nice and smooth, like a baby's bum. How's your skin at the moment? Is it alright? Yeah, yeah, cool. And I'm stopping just below it, leaving a few follicles uh, of uh, hair growth, just so I'm not going into my next line, so I can blend from uh, my, my, my zero, zero to my 0.5. All right, so now I'm going to be doing my 0.5 line. Uh, each fade line, I'm going for like a thickness of your finger, generally. So there, zero, zero, 0.5, one and a half, and then blend into each other. So. So 
So that's my 0.5 line, 0, 0 line, uh, and then now I'm going to one guard open. With afro hair, you need to go over it a few times because the hair is a lot thicker. Like sometimes you even have to sort of go different angles. Get those curly locks in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it being called that. Refer to it from uh, my afro as curly locks. Okay. From this point. <laughs> Get those curly locks in. <laughs> Right, then I'm going back down through the guards and I've just gone one closed and I'm going just underneath that one and a half. And I'm just sort of using a couple of the teeth. I don't want to create any lines. Uh, yeah, I mix between the two, open and close, just so I can blend a lot quicker instead of just keeping to the one. Because I'm blending downwards, so sometimes you go back into it a little bit and you, you're not creating a line, but you, you might see a little bit of a weight line, so then you sort of go back into it again. And then on this side, I'm just missing my zero which I'll probably flick between the 0 0.5 and the 0 0.2 uh, as I take out this line. So I'm going to start though with my 0. I use this uh, taper uh, blade m uh, most frequently for the guard skipping because of the beveled edge and because you can flick it out quite nicely instead of using the fade guard, um, fade blade. So first start zero and just small movements just below it. So I've just moved on to the uh, one and a half guard, open and close, just to get rid of a little bit of weight at the top before I move on to the other side. And then the extra bit of weight here, I'll just freehand it. Freehand. <laughs> freehand literally just means no guard and I just do it like freehand. Right, I'm just going to line them up on this side first before I uh, go on to the other. This side from Cutney Air Pool, I know I have to do it in different directions because there's a really thick bit here. I don't know if you'll see it on camera in a minute. Not as thick as John. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, going zero now. I love it around here. I'm South London born and bred. But it's weird because I speak to mates. <laughs> you sound like you come from London. I always feel like I need to get a visa when I go up North London, it's weird. I feel out of place. Yeah, I know. Yes, right. I'm going to do a descending graduation on the back. Just get, you have a little bit more control over the fade doing that. So I'm going to start with the one and a half guard open just so I can see it gradually disappearing. Close it a bit more. And the one guard. I am descending down. I'm on grade one and a half to one. And then I'll be going on to 0 0.50 and then just touching up little bits. Right, it's 
I'm going to fade down the beard now before I line it up. These mini clipples. <laughs> so I use too much talc, obviously, don't I? Give fight to the puppet door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fading down the side of the beard again. This is a one and a half guard closed and open. I descend down when I go fading the beard. You've got more control when you you descend down than you have if you fade upwards because you can always push the fade up too far. Whereas if you descend, you can see the fade gradually building up. <clears throat> I'm just going to line it up with the minis. Once I've lined up with the minis, I'll stick a towel on his face and line him up with the old cutthroat. <laughs> Doesn't reach all round your afro. <laughs> of course it does. I'm probably locked down. Oh, it's it soften it all up, isn't it? Oh, So I'm using the magic clips for this because it's got a nice flat uh, fade blade so I can freehand it. Do you want me to sit back on that? I don't know, just go straight. Okay. But just keep it dead still. George, shall I take some off the top, kind sir? Do you know what? Uh, there's a few stragglers. It's all right, leave it. Yeah, no, leave it. Thank I'll you. I like it. It's kind of crazy. Um, Maybe some of the stragglers in the front will be counted. But I don't want it like flat, flat. Uh, these are seven inch. I don't often use them really now because I have five inches, which I prefer, because they say that the scissor you use for club cutting should be the, they should go from think, what? finger I'm to knuckle. I'm so, so proudly saying you've got five inches, really. <laughs> <laughs> These are little mini, mini foils, just so I can <laughs> get into areas that I can't with the, with the bigger ones. Wow, that is really nice. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it is old, it's kind of citrusy a little bit. A little bit lemony, little, I like it, it's nice. What we've got on the towel? Is that good? What we've got on the towel? Yeah, uh, yeah, I thought, ah, that's what I could smell. Okay, it's nice, man. Like it? Nice, so good. 
Let me go around. Yes. All fresh lines. Maji. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.